cheap, which is about $1,000 since yes, yesterday afternoon. It has arrived, and there's still a couple more that haven't come through. Just listed another one of these this morning, and it just sold for 143 dollars Folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Really do appreciate you being here. If you are new here, hey, how you doing? My name's Chris, and I'm building a business that suits my lifestyle. Now, I've been documenting this journey in quite a lot of detail since the start of, well, for the last four years, really, but in immense detail for the last six, seven, eight months, really. And in these videos, I basically take you through the decisions I'm making, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, the progress I'm making, or the lack of progress that I'm making, but showing you how I'm building my business. And this is probably going to look a lot different to how you build yours because I'm building it for me. I'm building it for a lifestyle that I want in the next one, two, five, ten years. I'm going to do it however long it takes, figuring it out as I go. But you can come along for the ride. And if you've got any questions along the way, you're more than welcome to ask any questions. Now, this week has been a bit of an interesting week. I've had some staff out sick, which meant I had to step up and do a lot more work myself, which is not really what I want to be doing, but that's that's part of the business I've also got a few new problems to solve for to help maximize um, outputs. And that's that's going to be a bit of an ongoing thing for the next couple of weeks, I think. But we talk about it this week. And then also we had my international order finally arrive. And this isn't something that I think I'll be doing on a regular basis. It's really just an opportunity that I wanted to test out and try. But more on that a little bit later. And I also dive a little bit deep into, you know, how I'm feeling, you know, mentally and just with what things are kind of, you know, annoying me or frustrating me. We talk a bit about that as well. So if you stick around to the end, I do have the lessons for the week, as well as all the financials for how we've progressed for this week, as well as how we're looking to end for the end of the month of September 2024. So what's in this one? Let's dive in. Good morning, folks. It is Monday morning. It's a new week and I'll tell you, I'm feeling totally relaxed and revived and ready to see what we can do this week. There's going to be some few, a few challenges this week though, I'm not going to lie. Um, so the weekend was good, went away with Carla, went to the hot springs, definitely uh, feel re-energized, that's for sure. Um, and we've got another early bird week this week, we're dropping Carla off at the station, I've just picked up a cheeky little coffee from Macca's, um, and we're heading into the storage unit now, it's um, jeepers, it's only seven o'clock. Uh, so an early one but that's good now the challenge this week is <laughs> uh, my photographer is going to be out all week sick unfortunately they've got COVID um, there's actually a lot of it going around I've been I've got my fam some of my family's got COVID um, I heard about that my grandparents uh, retirement village that went around there like it's just it's really weird like we haven't spoken about that for a long time but um, yeah that's a little bit uh, frustrating um, um, for numerous reasons but it is what it is, so I'm going to be uh, chugging along all by myself this week. Uh, <laughs> it's a busy week too. We've got my international order arriving this week, well, meant to be. Um, we have 47 orders to go out today, so I've got to do a big pick, pack and post, and I'll be doing all the photos all week, so we're a bit behind schedule, we're behind where I'd like to be. However, we did pick up over the weekend, we ended up doing about seven and a half thousand dollars maybe it was seven two. Um, over the weekends, uh, like over the week, sorry, and then finishing up the weekend with some strong, strong sale numbers. So, look, there's pros and cons. Um, this week, I'm also going to be catching up with John the reseller. We meant to see him a few weeks back, but he was unwell as well. So, lots of moving pieces. I've even got my um, birthday this week. I've got my charity streams this week. There's lots happening. Lots, lots happening. But, you know, that's that's the way we do business, right? So, Today, focus on doing postage and photos. That's it, 100% it. And I'll be picking Carla up from the station around six o'clock. So come along for the drive, or come along for the ride more so. And um, you know, if you've got any questions along the way, more than happy to answer. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're here and time to get some things happening. So, as I said, it's just going to be me this week. So it's going to be an interesting week, tiring week. But you know, at the end of the day, that's the reality of it. Um, so I'm just going to do knock out a few bit of couple of listings right now. Um, I did do a whole bunch before I left at uh, six thirty from home. Um, so we've got a few more that I just need to get done, and uh, then once we've done that. 
I will um, probably get into doing probably a pick, pack and post to be honest. I want to get that out of the way as quick as possible. Um, well, at least get started on it because there is 47 orders there. And then the afternoon will just be clothing. That's really the focus for today. So just got to do listings, 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 or photos, photos, photos. So we do have listings, listings, listings. So I'm just going to get a few things set up. I'll do some photo, uh, do some actual listings on online, and um, then we'll do a pick, paint, place, and then we'll get into all of this. Um, it's been a pretty good, pretty good weekend. Um, I'll take you through all those numbers shortly. I'm going to get cracking on this. Do a little bit of work. It's currently 7:30. Uh, should be done pretty quick, and then we'll get back to it. Gonna find a little spot for you. There we go. Hello. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okie dokie team, 40 listings done in Dusted Scent Live. Got some RuneScape tunes playing. Woohoo! What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to do a pick pack and that's it, just a pick. And I'm not going to do a pack yet, but I'm just going to do a pick. And essentially the idea here is that I can do this to just kind of get all the stuff out and what i want to do is while i've got a bit of energy my back's pretty good because if you're new here i've got a lot of back issues at the moment i'm going to end up starting to do a batch of this um because it's only 8 12 so if i can do like a good hour of this maybe bang out 20 jeans or whatever then i'll do a pick pack and post um well i'll, I'll finalize packing and, and all that so quickly take you through <coughs> how the weekend's been um it's actually been pretty Pretty good. Over the weekend, we have done 47 orders for $2,471. Um, I'm going to get this all out in a, in a minute, and I'll show you what we've actually got. Um, if we actually just have a look here, we have actually... We dropped down to 69000 over the weekend. We've dropped jumped back up to $70,000, um, and we've got 47 orders going out. So there's a few multi-quantity orders in there. I think there's actually... Yeah, if we look here, there's actually 50... Looks like there's 50 orders in total, or 50 items more so. Um, so I'm going to start getting all that out, and that way I can just come back to it a little bit later. Whew, busy day. Uh, I just got an update on my international order. It's still got a long way to go. I don't know if it's actually even going to arrive this week. It might possibly arrive at the end of the week, but then it's a long weekend here in Melbourne, so I don't think it's going to arrive till next week, to be honest. Just saying. Which is okay, it gives me a little bit of wiggle room. Um, yeah, all right, I'm gonna get this stuff out and then we'll do some, do some uh, photos. Wow, we have got a lot. So this is just all clothes. We've got some like Green Day going out, which makes sense because Green Day's touring again soon. Um, we've got everything, we've got bikinis, we've got fleece like Patagonia in there, we've got Lee Riders, North Face, sweaters, we've got bundles of shirts and shorts, we've got some Harley Davidson, nice Harley Davidson jacket going out, um, we've got Skylanders, we've got Xbox games in here, uh, this little guy picked up a fair while ago but he's finally sold, some shoes, some more shoes over there, we've got a whole bundle of phones from last week's listing, um, <clears throat> yeah, not too bad. I'm going to, um, as I said, I'm going to go do some photos now, now that I've got all that out. Probably give it a, a good hour, hour and a half, and then we'll start that a little bit later, just because there'll probably be a few more sounds that come through, get that done by lunchtime, take a break, do some more photos, and then, um, <clears throat> yeah, get on with the day. Um, sorry, I've got lots gone from my head, just thinking about what's you know next step. So I'm just going to grab some quick wins. There's actually a few things that I picked up over the weekend here. There's even a PlayStation 4 with um, Ghost of Toshima. Um, so I might list those. And there's a couple of clothes in here that I might take and do for some quick wins before I get into the jeans as well. So let's get cracking. All right, team. Just finished 20. I'm going to um, take a break, upload these photos, get back to postage just listed another one of these this morning and it just sold for 143 i think it was pretty cheap but uh you know these are cut through consignment so we can just move them pretty quick which is pretty good <sighs> not sure if you guys remember this i got this from savers a vintage green australian skirt this one's not international for 82 dollars 20 shipping included not too bad this is another cool one um i've sold this 
this kind of brand, this would be the third time I think I actually picked one up on the weekend. This is called Lecoq, um, and it's sportive. It's basically just like a sports brand. This one's gone for $82.86, yes, international plus, including postage. Um, this one I paid like, I think it was $7.64 around there somewhere. Um, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. There's been quite a lot of international over the weekend. Um, I still pick up real cheap stuff. This country road, this is like a cardigan. Um, I don't think it was, yeah, it was cashmere. And I've paid $2.27 for this. That's what it averaged out to. It was about $2.20, $2.30. Um, and this one's gone for $31.20, but it's cheap as chips, and it's sold literally within 24, 48 hours. So very, very cool. And good one to look out on the, on the cheap racks. Here's another interesting one. This is a towel that I picked up probably two years ago. I got two Harry Potter towels. Uh, the first one sold very quickly for like 45 bucks. This thing has been sitting around since my SKU number was 3,415, which is, yeah, basically when I started clothing. Um, it's only gone for 24 bucks. I'll probably make about $4 profit on it, maybe? Actually, $6 profit, but still, I would never pick it up again, um, unless they were like a dollar. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Um, but yeah, just sharing. All right, postage is all done. Just printing it all off now. Little loves print going away there. It's gonna take a little bit. Um, it's uh, 11.49, so I'm pretty much on time. I had uh, the guy that I'm doing the consignment work pop swing by and we had a bit of a chat as well. This is all charged. Um, so I'm going to finish slapping on these labels and then um, I'll probably nearly be ready for lunch. I've got to pack all this away, of course. Like, there's a lot. Like, Jesus. And then uh, have some lunch and then uh, we'll, we'll do another round of photos. So we'll do another 20, take a break, do another 20. Take a break. That seems to be what my back can handle 20 at a time. I'm aiming to do 60 today. And yeah, we'll go from there. Nice little Ralph Lauren Polo new tags. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right. Let's, uh... oh, and also he came by and um, he was happy with me to purchase all of, all of his clothing. So I got all of this, 29 pieces for $200. I think like two of these jackets will pay for a lot. Um, anyway, I'll go through them a little bit later. Some of them needs to be washed. Not too bad. And there we go. Postage is done. Jesus. All right, it's 12.18. I'm going to have some lunch. I've actually got a pork and avocado roll with some sriracha sauce and some leftover pumpkin and feta and spinach salad. Um, Jeepers, just had another sale come through as well. Although they haven't paid... Ah, they miss out. Um, all right, let's have some lunch, take a quick break. Might watch a video or two and then um, get back to it. All right, a little bit of pumpkin and ricotta and then we have the main course. Um, if you can hear that fan, that's the laptop. That thing is, is wild. So this is leftover from uh, food that Carl and I had on the weekend. I'm at King Dan. Let's go. Woo, woo, woo. All right, folks, I'm back at it. Uh, just cruising along. Um, try and do another 20 of these. And I'll take a break and then we'll do another 20 again. Let's do it. All right, another 20 done. Almost finished all the jackets as well. Um, I'm just gonna take a quick breather. They're uploading and I'll just take a break because my back's starting to get sore now. I'll sort these quickly and see if I can get them into a good flow. I don't think there's quite 20 here. There's probably maybe 10. Um, getting all the, all the tops done first and then we'll move on to pants. So hopefully we'll get all that done today. Um, and then that should get me to 60 almost. Might have to tap into some of these to get to 60. Um, but we're doing all right. It's 2.20 at the moment. I'll take a short break, um, have a snack, and yeah, but then we'll, we'll charge on. I'm going to be leaving here a bit earlier. Like, I'm not staying here the whole time till Carla gets back. I've got to run a few errands, and then hopefully circle back and be able to get to Carla on 
time. I'm going to make a phone call. All right, got all the tops done. Now we're on to the pants. I'm going to start to do some of those now uh, till I finish. Probably not going to get... To, oh, I might get to the 60. We might get there. We'll see. Um, yeah, let me get set up and then I'll be nearly done. All right, team, we are done. I didn't quite make it to 60. Did get 50 done, though, however. Uh, we've started on the pants now, so that will be tomorrow's focus. Tomorrow I'm only going to be half the heat. Tomorrow I'm only going to be here half the day. Um, I've got to pack up now. It's 10 to 4. I pack up. I've got to go pick up a delivery, and then I've got to. I'll drop off the postage as well while I'm there. Um, and that's it. Another day done. Back sore though. Anyway, I'm going to pack up and get out of here. See you tomorrow. And just like that, it was Tuesday. What's going on, folks? It's um, it's another beautiful early morning at 7 a.m. Surprisingly, I'm actually feeling pretty good. This time last week, I was definitely feeling pretty tired with the new routine, dropping Carla off and things like that. But no, we're in a good groove. I've just picked up a, um, a cheeky little coffee. Um, we're heading to the unit now. It's 7.04. Uh, we have an interesting day today. I'm actually catching up with John the reseller. Um, I was meant to catch up with him the other week, but uh, he was unwell, so I'm going to go see him today. But that's not till around lunchtime, so before then, going to get into the shop. Um, I might actually do a bunch of photos first, just get that off the, you know, just get it done. Um, however, I think I've still got, I think I've still got 15 listings to do, so sorry. What I'll do first is I'll do my listings first. And then I'll do um, do some photos, just get some quick wins, and then I'll do a pick, pack, and post. I think I got 15 sitting there. And then by that time, I'll be heading over to John, and then I'll be back in the afternoon. I'll do a little bit more work, and then uh, probably just stay at the unit till I pick up Carla, actually. And yeah, that's that's kind of the plan today. Um, look, all things considered, this week, um, not having my staff in is obviously a challenge because it means I have to do more of the work, but at the same time, there's a couple of things which are on my mind, which, you know, is, and I, I spoke about this in my newsletter last night about, you know, gratitude and going slow might actually be the way for you to have better wins. And I've always found like when I've been sick myself personally, that you, you learn to prioritize things that are the most important things. So one thing that I want to try and be a little bit more, um, uh, I guess, intentful with is making sure that when I am doing things, doing it with intent of finishing the job, getting it done, opposed to let's rush and get this done because it has to be done. And one thing that I know that I do personally is, well, while building this business, is I'm like, go, 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 go. Now, go, go, go is great for me because I thrive on it. I've spoken about this before. But there is an element to that which, you know, sometimes might create a little bit too much chaos for others. <laughs> Um, or it might just create unnecessary chaos. So that's something I'm gonna try and work on a little bit better. This week is helping me just slow down a bit more and I'm just getting as much done. So that's been really good to kind of, you know, think about and reflect on. Um, and the other thing is I've been chatting to Drew. Um, Drew, Drew used to, well, he still is on YouTube, but like he, he, he doesn't really do much of his content at this point in time. Um, but we still chat and he's always keeping me honest and sharing ideas or challenging me on the ways I do things. Um, now for me, I look up to Drew. Drew is um, also a clothing reseller and uh, I, I, I take a lot of inspiration from Drew. And he was chatting to me about maybe how I can get or maximize a little bit more space from my current um, shelving setup. So he's actually been able to build a, a lot more tiers into his shelves and he thinks I can do that too. So I'm gonna be looking at that this week as well. Uh, but not today, not today. I've got a couple of things, as I said, to do. So yeah, that's uh, that's the plan. <sighs> it's never a dull day. Let's do it, team. All right, team, I'm here. I'm setting up. Um, I actually got a couple of returns that came back that have been finally taking the time to return. So the other week I sent, <laughs> happens to the best of us, I sent two items to two different people, um, both pair of shoes, just put the wrong tag, I mean the wrong label on the wrong box. Anyway, they've sent them back and now I've just got to send them back out to them. Um, probably happens once every six months, so maybe twice a year I do that. Yeah, anyway, um, so I'll quickly just show you how we're tracking for progress this week. Um, 
We're back on 70,192. We got up to 670,600 last night, dropped down. We've got 14 sales to go out. Um, the week in itself is actually going pretty good. Yesterday we had, my mouse isn't working. Yesterday we had a pretty big day, uh, which is very rewarding. We did a total of, jeepers. We actually did $1,400 yesterday, um, which I'm super grateful for. So it'll be interesting to see if we can keep that run for this week. If we can keep that run for this week, we're going to finish the month strong. Uh, we're still on track to probably do, yeah, probably not as, somewhere between July and August, we will do. August was my best month. Um, so hopefully we will land just shy of that. Anyway, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll talk about that later in the video. Um, all right, I'm going to do these returns, just process them, do some listings, and then... Um, We'll do some photos and start the pig packing back. <laughs> on mumbo jumbo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the returns, do the refunds, etc. Then what I'm going to do is finish my listings. Then I'm going to do some photos. Then we'll do a pig pack and post. Gotcha. All right, team. Um, I've done all my listings. I've already got all the stuff out to post as well, but I'm not going to post till I get back after seeing John. I'm just going to do some photos now so I can get ahead um, and then I'll come home, I'll come back here after John and I'll um, I'll do the pick pack and post then just yeah, just changing as I as I feel my priority at the moment is to get as much photos done as possible before I leave because it is just me here so if I don't do it no one else is going to do it and um, then we'll be on our way um, let's get cracking today I will be focusing on uh, probably pants jeans um, and pants so let's do it all right just finished uh, 20 I'm gonna take a break do a few little admin things before I leave I'm leaving in about 30 minutes I think it is um, maybe a bit more than that and uh, yeah then we'll do some more of this when we get back all right team just before I leave I'll take you through all the stuff that I've got going out so we've got this little cars exclusive uh, metallic deco has gone over to the UK. They've paid like 77 bucks, so that includes postage. Got a couple of cameras that I listed this morning. They sold instantly. Pass only, not working. One went for 54, one went for 62. Um, just some Tommy jeans, and the rest is just all clothes. Like, just there's a couple of multi quantity orders in there. Um, so, pretty happy with this. It's it's been pretty good actually like things are slowly picking back up again in terms of actually what have we got here? yeah so we've got a total of 22 orders to go out jeepers which is about a thousand dollars since yes yesterday afternoon so not too bad i did have a bit of an interesting situation this morning i had went through spoke to ebay about how to deal with these inad returns um because they were obviously false inads and then also had a vero pop up as well um, for something that I forgot to change the um, change the international postage policy on, which was interesting. However, it's just it's just a warning. You know, it's not a defect or anything like that, or you know, account suspension or anything like that. It was literally just a warning. And they actually said, all you got to do is just update it. Um, I actually removed it, and I'll update it with a fresh listing. Um, but yeah, that was definitely something that you should always remember is when you're selling international is one can it be sold in international especially if it's new with tags those shoes actually um and i always always usually update it but i forgot for this bunch and it was for a bunch of nike stuff so anyway all good but definitely was a bit of a <laughs> a uh, scary moment all right i'm about to um pack up and leave i just got to grab some stuff that i'm taking to john's a whole bunch of match matchbox cars and things and then then I'll be good to go. So I will see you guys. I don't know if I'll see you with John or not. Not sure, but I'll see you later anyway. Ciao. Folks, just finished up seeing John. Didn't even film anything. We just caught up and we've been chatting for the last couple of hours. Um, always a pleasure. I'm heading back to the storage unit. I'll do a quick pick, pack and post. Running a bit behind schedule now, but that's okay. And um, if I don't get it all posted today, I'll just do the rest in the morning. And then I'll be picking up um, picking up Carla. So a bit of a quieter day today, which isn't a bad thing. And um, yeah, it's all, it's always one thing that I probably have been lacking in the last 
oh, maybe six weeks. I mean, you know, obviously very focused on the business and, and doing everything, but just other than myself of just reflecting, you know, through my own perspective, you know, having conversations with, you know, other people doing the same thing or in similar fields, uh, building a business, you know, creating something, creating content, and being able to share perspectives, ideas, and, you know, just have a bit of a heart-to-heart -heart and vent. It's always important to do that. And, you know, whether it's a mentor, whether it's, you know, it could be family, it could be a friend, but, you know, finding those that you can have the conversations with of, you know, the stuff that maybe is triggering you, the stuff that maybe is feeling, making you feel uncomfortable, the stuff that's keeping you up at night, or maybe just, you know, maybe you're doubting yourself and you know I have struggled and I've, I've been very open about it of whether it's you know doubt doubt or imposter syndrome or that I'm not good enough or you know just the negative comments and things like that when one thing that I've now starting to realize and I'm going to be talking about this a lot because it is becoming a bit of a revelation for me although it is easier said than done to you know just ignore all that noise is that the issues that people have with me they're not, they're not my issues. They're actually the issues of the, that individual or those individuals. Just like if I complain about something to someone, you know, I say, oh, I don't like your hair, it looks ridiculous, for instance. Well, that's not their problem. That's, that's a problem I have with their hair. But that's not of their concern. If I don't like it, but they like their hair, then what does it matter to them? I'm the one that's uncomfortable with it. So when I've been thinking about it from that perspective, it actually really does set some really strong concrete that, you know, for those that do have their opinion that maybe I don't agree with, which is, you know, fair enough, we're all entitled to our own opinions, but if someone has an issue or doesn't agree or doesn't like, then that's not my problem. And I have to start looking at this more that way and ignoring the fluff, ignoring the noise and really just continuing to focus on what I'm trying to achieve and my vision because even though my dreams are dreams and that's very hard to capture, very hard to believe and very hard to see from someone else's perspective, I can see it clear as day. Which means the only thing I need to worry about is continuing to take those steps forward. I don't need to think about anything else. I shouldn't need to worry about anything else either. So that's that's been a nice little conversation that I've just had with John. Um, and so I appreciate you, John, if you, if you do watch this. And much needed and much appreciated. So you'll probably hear a bit more of that over the coming, coming weeks. And I'm going to try and change things up a little bit. Just change things for the better for me. Whether that, you know, transpires into something better for you, hopefully. But it might just mean I do things differently. Or I might share things differently. Or I might just double down on things or whatever that may look like. Anyway, I'm going to think about it, reflect on it, and then I'll start to bring it into play. But uh, really, really great conversation. Anyway, let's get back to the storage unit, get this stuff done, and then I'm picking up Carla. All right, postage done. 5.28. Head to the uh, post office, closes at 6, and then I go straight to Carla and pick her up. Not too bad. All right, folks, I'll see you tomorrow. Folks, and just like that, it is Wednesday, and still doing these early mornings. It's uh, it's becoming a groove now. It's becoming the uh, the usual the usual flow. And look, I'm tending to like it. I think the only thing that I'm not liking in it is it is I'm a bit rushed in the morning to do my listings because usually I like to get all my listings, like send all my listings live before I leave home. That way it's just done. Um, but in this case, because we're leaving at 6.30, I'm just, I'm just not getting it done in time. However, I did get it done this morning, um, but that was because it was a bit of video game stuff, so it was very easy to just cross check and reference, you know, price check and things like that. Um, for those, if you don't know, I have my list to do that from the Philippines, John, and I just set, review them in the morning and send them live. But sometimes I do some additional research or, you know, I want to find the right pricing points. So, <clears throat> you know, I still have to do all that. All right, Wednesday, today. Um, kicking off at 7 o'clock, heading to uh, the unit now. 
there's not much to pick back and post. I think I got four orders because I did a late post last night, like at five o'clock, five thirty. A lot of my orders that usually sit over from the second half of the day have already been sent. So I'm not going to do a pick back and post when I get in. My focus this morning is actually I'm just going to do some more photos. It looks like my staff is still probably out this week and we've got the long weekend this Friday so keen for Friday take a day off and just rest um, but yeah so today the plan is I'll do some photos when I get in got to do a little bit of backpacks admin for when the raffle goes live tonight's the last raffle so if you missed out you know you've missed out um, and then I'll go to backpacks that's at 9 30 spend a couple of hours there do all that stuff then come back do more photos and do a pick, pack and post and then it'll be a wrap up of the day. Carla's in the city, so I'll pick her up this, tonight um, and then, yeah, that's it. So just really just getting in the reps of getting in those photos because we're, we're a bit behind, which makes sense because I don't have someone else working for me this week. Um, and they usually do a 90 a day, so I'll probably just focus on doing the photos. There's a whole bunch of other things I need to do. Like, you know, I started to speak about changing some of the storage. I spoke to Drew, he gave some great suggestions. Can't really do that this week. I do need to do a consolidation, but I don't think I'm gonna start that this week either. Uh, I'll probably start that next week, just to be honest. And so I just wanna get ahead with photos and listings. And da -da 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 -da. I have got an update on my international order. It says it could arrive tomorrow. However, I'm, I'm not holding my breath. So if it's not tomorrow, that will be something that we, we focus on in the video next week. So we'll see what happens. Um, I just got myself a cheeky coffee from Macca's. Oh, and it's nice and extra hot. Love it. Let's, uh, let's go do some work. All right, I'm in, all set up. I'm gonna start doing a whole bunch of true religion. Got heaps to do. So I'm gonna get cracking, do a good hour of this and then um, do some backpacks admin before I actually head to backpacks, so. <sighs> Let's do it. And 20 done. I'm now gonna upload these photos, just so they're syncing while I'm doing some other things. Gotta do a quick little bit of admin for backpacks, and then I'll do a little bit more sorting of stuff around here. If I've got a bit of time, I'll do some more. Not too bad. All right, folks, backpacks is done. Heading back to the, uh, to the shop now. And um, I'll uh, probably end up uh, doing a pick, pack, and post. Had a couple of sales come through, and then the rest of the day is really just doing um, doing photos. Um, I am going to message and see if I can get a washing pickup tomorrow, get that groove back into rotation, and um, yeah. Otherwise, it's really just going to be a bit of just putting in the reps today. So um, I'll see you at the shop. All right, folks, gonna do a pick, pack, and post. We have a total of 12 items going out and we're on 70,395. Um, not really much. Um, got a little bank and controller and the rest is just bread and butter clothing. There's some North Face, there's some button shirts, a couple of jackets, and I think there's some jeans down at True Religion. So it's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy, but just bread and butter. Um, I'm happy with that. Let's pack it up. All right, team, postage is done, and it's actually already gone. Um, I've just been taking a bit of a break. Actually, I still have some lunch, but um, all the jeans have also been flat laid out. I've just been getting the bags out, so, because I'm going to be having a washing pickup tomorrow. So this is all the remainder of the jeans. There's, we were just doing, oh, sorry, when I say we, I was just doing a, um, a tally of what's left. There's about 100 Levi's there. We've still got about 53, 60 jackets or so in here. So that's going to get me covered. Me and my worker will be back. I think they might be back tomorrow. Um, that's basically covering us. Well, that's 160. That's two full days for them. Um, and I'm going to probably do some more now. But the first thing that i got to do is actually make up some washing bags. We've already got one, two, three, five, I think six. So it's going to be those and then some under here as well. So I'm going to do that now. Um, I'm actually feeling totally just wrecked, just a bit tired. Um, so just taking it slow, but it is what it is. Oh. Oh. Maybe I'll have some lunch. Anyway, and then I'm probably just going to be doing photos for the rest of the day. So a bit of a cruisy one today, folks. <laughs> Nothing crazy. Um, it's been pretty quiet today in terms of sales as well. 
Uh, I spoke about this last week. I know a few of you um, left some comments around, you know, everyone else has been seeing it being a bit, bit slow as well. So it's good to hear that I'm not the only one, but obviously it's unfortunate that things are a little bit low, low, low. And last week I did show the graphs, which suggested that the next couple of weeks we'll, we'll probably start to see a dip anyway. It seems to be kind of normal at this time of year. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's... I'm actually just seeing if there's any issues on my account. No, that's all good. Um, all right, I'm just going to have some lunch and then get back to work. Jeepers, haven't done this for a while. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's right, ten going out. Chocolate. So all of this um, I will basically put in the loading bay, which is this little section here in the morning. Oh, sorry, for the morning when I leave. Um, and then that will go down. I think they're coming at 9.30, 10 o'clock tomorrow, which is good. Um, now I can actually just start to think about what's what's going to be next. I might actually move some of this now and actually just see what we've got going in here because I've actually got to do all those as well. I might do those tomorrow. If my photographer is going to be in tomorrow, it means I'm going to have a bit more time to start to prep some other stuff, which I'm actually pretty happy with. So we need to clean up in here big time. All right, I'm going to do a bit more shuffling in here and then I'm probably going to just do some photos of clothing just keep on keep the grind going we're actually um yeah we're doing pretty good uh, in terms of even though we missed a couple of days with my photographer sorry i'm just i'm really just speaking out loud this is what everything that's just going through my head right now um even though we've missed a couple of days in volume i think we're going to get back up to speed and that's that. It looks like my international order is going to start to trickle through tomorrow to to um, Monday. I don't know what that's going to look like, though. I don't know how big it is. All I know is it's about 400, 500 items. Um, and I'm going to need this space to do that. So it's good that that washing is going out. So maybe I don't want to actually put this wash... Uh, maybe I don't want to actually get anything else out tomorrow in case that stuff arrives tomorrow. Interesting. Th th these are the things that I'm thinking about as I, as I progress. I'm gonna do a bit of a clean up though, just to make some space. Um, yeah. yeah. It's all good. <laughs> uh, all right, let me do some work. So I kind of went on a bit of a tangent just because, I don't know, just needed to do some fixing of stuff so I've just been I've been trying wanting to do this for a long time of rearranging some of this area and get this all sorted um, so I'm gonna be testing something new this week but <laughs> it's a bit of a mess at the moment just getting all this cleaned up but essentially originally I wanted to get an, a monitor arm but I don't want to spend any more money so the monitor arm isn't gonna happen for now we're gonna we've just spread this but I've got the laptop in here now I've got the USB going across here to this and the idea is I want to have this getting printed out at the tail end the only thing that's going to be annoying is this one because this doesn't have a USB port. So I do need to get another extension that plugs that in, but that's not a big issue at this point. Um, we can figure that out. We, we will figure that out. And then what I'm going to do is repack all this, having I'll put all my satchels in here now, stocked up this. I've got a whole bunch of medium over there that I've got to put in and just rejig and basically get rid of any fluff that we don't need. Um, just trying to keep this as symmetric, uh, I guess, minimalistic as possible. Ideally, I actually wanted to remove this whole thing. And I think in the long run, I will be able to. But for now, that's how we're going to do it. This gives me a little bit more space here. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, ideally, I don't want to be turning around to pack. I want all my stuff here. And ideally, I can have buckets of stuff here and I can just grab, pack, and then it comes out that side. and. Yeah, anyway, trial and error, right? Trial and error. And we're done. So the main change that I've done is, I did try a few things here, but still haven't been able to get it because the other table just doesn't fit. So that's what it is. But that's all clear now, which means it gives me a bit more space to be able to put stuff. What I would like to be able to do is put some, when I'm packing things, have them like that. So it's just, I'm just grabbing from here essentially. And then I can just kind of chuck that in there, grab the next one, slide it across. That would be ideal. 
that's uh, I don't know if you saw that so they would be stacked full full and then there's probably nothing really in there unless it's overflow as I empty this that chucks in there do the next one chucks in there and they kind of just sit like in that so that's kind of the plan that's to put rubbish in bigger rubbish got everything here I think this works a lot better there's some stats over there all right we're gonna get out of here and um, we're gonna run a couple of errands then pick Carla up and then get the live stream tonight we do it all again tomorrow ciao folks and it is Thursday <clears throat> a bit croaky I tell you I'm feeling a bit tired this <laughs> this morning um, I'm actually excited tomorrow is a public holiday and it's gonna be a well-deserved break after a long couple of weeks Carla and I um, we're actually going out tonight we're going out for dinner a um, bit of a combined thing for my birthday and for her new job um, so we're we'll celebrating that tonight and then tomorrow <clears throat> can just uh, kick back and relax for a bit so the um, the plan today we actually have a washing pickup at uh, well, probably about 9 30 10 I've got a um, an eBay online event um, which is just online so I can just do it from my phone or laptop or whatever and that's till about I think that's till about lunchtime um, so I'll be attending that but in, in the meantime I'm just basically going to be doing I'm going to do a little bit of photos when I get in this morning. I've got a little bit of listings. So there's only about 10 orders, 11 orders. It's been dead quiet. We've actually dropped down below 70,000 now, which is heartbreaking, but we will rebuild. And uh, yeah, really just kind of get back into the group of things today. I've got my photographer in all day, so they should get a good 80, 90 done, which means we're going to get through a majority of those jeans, which are going to be some really good listings to do. Um, over the weekend as well. So, happy with this. Uh, just dropped Carla off and heading into the unit now. So it's 7.05, early morning. Let's do it. The other thing I forgot to mention is I got another, and I mean, I said this the other day, that my international order may actually arrive today. Um, and if that's the case, I'm probably gonna have to collect it. So I may nick out and actually go pick this up as well. So we'll see. We'll see. Your your the suspense is killing me too. We're just gonna have to wait it out. Anyway, let's get into the shop. All right, we are here, folks. I'm just gonna do a quick little unpack. Oops. Um, I did take a few, a few op shop items that I picked up the other day. Um, there's actually a few goodies in here that I've got too. Um, which that's not from an op shop. That's from something else. And my first priority is to get all of this. Uh, basically onto the trolleys. Picked up a few things that we're going to be trying in the, in the new workstation area as well. Oh, I haven't turned the light on in here, sorry. It's a bit dark and gloomy. Um, so we're going to be setting that up. So I'm going to get the washing. I'm still here. Uh, I'm going to get the washing um, all on the trolley so the goods go. And then I'm going to do a whole bunch of photos before my photographer gets in so I can get 20 done. And then they should get 80 done. We should get 100 today. Um, and then in the afternoon, after my event, I will be starting to go through this stuff uh, that I got from the guy, start doing that, and I've also got all of these to do as well. Um, so, just starting to make some progress. Of course, anything can change, might have to nick out and go pick up the stuff as well. <sighs> I'm feeling good. I'm excited. There is something else I want to talk about later, but we'll talk about it later. All right, let's do some photos. Starting off with some jeans and making our way through all of these. I tell you, it's, it's, it's been an interesting week. I've, um, you know, I, I talk about it a lot on the channel, obviously my mental health and stuff and my mental health, the reason why I get the way I do is because this is my dream that I'm building. And when people come up against that, obviously you then challenge, is my dream valid? And of course, no one else can vision that dream because it's, it's, my, it's my dream. So when that when that occurs, it really does play on my mind. But the last couple of days and chatting for a few people and things, really got a new sense of perspective and oh, I'm pumped. I'm excited to just, well, let's do it. Like that's all I got to do is just do it. So nothing else can really stop me other than if I give up. So we're just going to charge on. Anyway, there's a bit more on that. Um, let's get cracking. Let's do this. Start with jeans today. Um, jeans or um, pants and we'll charge on from there. So the funny thing is between me and my photographer, we both operate in different styles. Um, 
which is fine. Like, you know, we all do our own ways. Um, so I'm going to try and get 20 done before they rock up and that way they can just take over. So I'm going to get cracking folks. Ciao. All right, team. Um, 20 is done. I've gone dun dun and there. Um, I'm going to stop. I'm going to upload the photos. Work is probably going to be here in the next 20 minutes or so. I need to do some admin stuff for backpacks. Um, I've got my final main event raising money this Sunday and I want to do some posts about it. So I'm going to do that and uh, also going to make up some boxes. I'm thinking today I'm going to have to actually start to do the consolidation because that's the space we have left. So I'm probably going to do that while I've, I've actually got the eBay um, seller um, pre pre-owned fashioned um, seller event which is online so I can probably listen into that while I'm doing consolidation maybe that's what I'll do we just got to get it done anyway um, checking in a jiffy all right folks have finished um, the eBay webinar I've actually been doing consolidating so we've already got a whole bunch coming out um, what I'm going to do now is I just got the notification as I said will probably come today the the order has arrived I need to go pick it up from a collection point um, so I'm going to quickly do my post my pick pack and post and then I'm going to post on the way and then I'll come back and put it in here so yeah because it's a public holiday tomorrow won't be able to get it Saturday well I can but it just doesn't make sense I'll get it here and I can start to work on that for the next week might even get into it today um, so we don't actually have much going out. We've only got 12 orders and we're on 69, 700. We've dropped down completely. So I'm going to get these out and then we'll get, uh, packing. All right, folks. And we're actually testing out the new system here as well. So all the stuff's here. It all fits nice and well. Um, we've got a few interesting ones. This is a Wilson vintage purple sweater. That one's gone for actually quite a good chunk. It's gone for $61. Um, happy with that. Then there's been a few other little shirts and um, jumpers. We've got the 39 clues going out. Um, we've got some Mambo shorts going out. And yeah, just bread and butter, really. Um, there is actually a couple of PlayStation games that I've got to grab. Uh, they've gone out as well. We've, we sold the Yu-Gi-Oh! and the Beyblade. So let me grab those. Um, and we will get them... Uh, we've got the um, Beyblade and Yu-Gi-Oh! Nice. Not too bad at all. Alright team, it's, got it. it's time to go pick this stuff up. I'm actually both very excited and very nervous because I have no idea what to expect. I'm actually pretty annoyed because I actually asked them to deliver it at my house. Um, I probably could have had it at the storage unit but um, you know, I just didn't want that to be a bit of a bad experience for the first time. So I probably need to do something smaller, deliver it to the storage unit, but I've asked for it to come to home because, you know, that makes more sense. But Australia Post, they don't deliver to my house. Um, so it's gone to some, peer, uh, some post office, which is just ridiculous because now that poor post office is going to have crazy amounts of stuff. Like there's probably... Oh, there's going to be a good 200 kilos, probably. Um, so, it's, anyway, it's going to be interesting. We'll go do that now. I've got to get fuel on the way as well. Um, ah, jeepers. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm excited and nervous because I'll get it. Get to look through it all. Probably won't really get to it too much today, although I'm going to want to. <coughs> but I need to stay the course. I'll reward myself having a look at it if I can uh, get the consolidation done today. So, uh very excited to be able to do this. Woo! All right, let's see how I do it. It has arrived, and there's still a couple more that haven't come through. Um, so, yeah, but it's here. All right, I'm still I'm still consolidating, just getting this. We're actually making a good dent here, actually. I'm going to continue to charge on with this. Probably not going to go through the order today. I might have a look myself, but I'll probably go through it in a bit more detail next week. And the other, there's still two boxes missing, which will arrive on Monday. So, yeah. Making good progress, folks. I am aiming to just get this done today. Um, so far, we're on, I think it's 31, 30 boxes. Just about to start the middle racks, and then we move into the next rooms. Um, some of those have already been taken into the next room already. So, we're getting there. Uh, I did talk about that I'm going to be making some changes to the shelving. Drew knows this. 
I'm not implementing it straight away. I'm going to be doing it in reverse. So once I've got the empty shelves, let's pretend these were the empty shelves. These are going to get adjusted and then we're going to work our way backwards because to change all this, I have to actually put out a lot of money and I don't really want to do that. This way we'll save money and then I'll just buy the shelving when I actually need it. You'll understand when I do this, if you don't know what I'm talking about. All done. We ended up gaining uh, 48, um, 48 boxes. And that includes all of this. This, I'm gonna start, I was going to start sorting this today, but I can get to it. So this will disappear, hopefully in the coming week. Um, that's for the consignment stuff that I'm doing, um, which some of that will go back to him or whatever. And then we've already filled up that one there but we've got one extra bay in there so some of this um well i am starting to clear out a few things here what i will be doing is i did have a sticky bit of this by the way this is a whole bunch of shorts um what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be putting another one of these here um because now that we're starting to move the stock again those will come out um and then what we'll be doing is the computers and stuff will go back onto this one so i'll actually gain back and all this has to be sorted through this is all just junk there's a few good things in here but yeah um that will gain me back all that which means i can start to consolidate a bit better here and gain some space back this is all for all that pile in that corner is for one individual to buy this needs to be processed probably a lot of it will just be eh, obviously not the posters this is the consignment stuff that I'm sorting through. That just needs to be done. The wholesale stuff is at the end. Um, and then there's... Now really what I need to do is... Now that I'm back into flow and we've got stock and we've got washing and photographers are back, I can start to get back into all this. Um, and, and sort through it and stuff. But really don't want to touch that until we've got this all cleaned up. And we've got some better momentum in here <sighs> lots to do but it's all good stuff it's all good problems to solve for <sighs> all right still here just uh finishing up hanging up this is pretty good like i've got a bit better working space now um this is how much space we've got here i ended up clearing out the space up here clearing out the space up here so we basically go here we go across this way and then we go into here across this way now as i said working through, I'm, I'm, I'm actually really just talking through what i need to do this is not for you <laughs> it's more for just me thinking out loud so i need to clear out all this stuff that that should be quick because i'm going for quick wins there's a lot of junk here i've got to do another tip run um some of this is well not all this is rubbish but i've just got it dumped there but really need to just make some more space in here those laptops are going to go into another shelf unit in here, but that won't happen until next month. Um, priority for, well, actually next month is next week, but what I'm going to start to do, and this is the thing that I've been chatting to Drew about, is we're actually going to make some of these smaller. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. The idea is to either get seven or six out of them. My aim is to at least get one by just making the notches different. The good thing, the next stuff that we're listing is smaller not fleece so we should be able to consolidate into six seven sizes and we're going to gain you know basically 20 percent more i'm going to do that on that and on that and then work backwards and it will also be on uh that one as well and that way by the time i'm going to start this on monday and then we can start to work our way through now as that happens we'll work our way back as we gain um i can't do it for everything because we have a lot of fleece and that's a lot of fleece, 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 like jumpers and bigger jackets. So I can't make them smaller, but going forward, I can. So that's that aim. Um, and I've got to consolidate some stuff in here as well. Um, things are a bit, a little bit overwhelming. But the good news is we don't need stock until basically, I think I calculated till November. Like I don't plan to go purchasing more stock, clothing, that is. Um what i am looking for is video games and collectibles i need a bit more of that to top up for as we go into the down period over christmas but anyway um that's it i'm gonna go pick carla up from the station and um we're gonna go out for dinner
So should be good. Long weekend this weekend here in Melbourne. Day off tomorrow, just taking a day off. And uh, yeah, we'll do it all again next week. So I <sighs> haven't really spoken about everything I wanted to speak about, but that's not on my mind anymore. So that's fine. Um, I'll wrap this up in a moment, take you through all the lessons. Um, and yeah, what a week. What a week. Ending with a smile as well, just because things are... Um, look, I was chatting to some people and, you know, we were saying things are feeling a bit down, but... At the same time, we're, we're higher than ever. We're higher than we've ever been. We're doing more sales than we've ever done. So everything's up. It's just not higher than I would like it to be. Um, or it's just not higher than I would like it to be. So, yeah, it's all good. Ciao. So there you go. Um, a bit of a... A bit of a fluid week. Lots of things happening. Lots of things changing. You know, obviously I've had to adapt having um, my, my staff out sick this week, which, you know, is a bit frustrating. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's important that, you know, their health and safety and they're comfortable with what they're doing. And I don't want to put any of that pressure on them to, you know, be back and rushing back and things like that. So that's okay. Like as much as it is annoying in the moment of I'm not getting as much progress from those elements, like from them working, that's okay. Like I've got to be comfortable with that being, being a boss and having people that work for you. Things will come up just like when I've worked for someone else and I can't work because of whatever circumstances, these scenarios come and go. And, you know, that's really the first lesson is things will always be fluid and things will happen when we don't want them to and things will go better when we don't expect them to. Thus, we need to be willing to adapt. We need to be willing to adjust and handle it with however it comes and whatever we need to do to, to make it happen and adjust. So my challenge for you is you know, be ready for these things. And when I, obviously you can't be prepared for everything. You can plan for a lot of things, but be ready to adapt, be ready to reprioritize as needed. And as I said, since the staff was out, it meant that I had to do a lot more work myself. Um, and it's been interesting because it's getting me into a new bit of a, you know, bit of a routine. And this week we also, Carl, I had to drop Carla off at the station every morning and that meant I was doing a different routine again, early mornings, working a bit longer in the business. So I've been very tired, but at the same time, there's some really great opportunity of what I can achieve with the time that I've been given to be able to do the extra time in the business. So definitely um, that's on the top of my mind and, and keeping me you know, thinking about how, how I can leverage that more and more. The next point was, or lesson is being vulnerable. Now, I, I share openly a lot about my business. I have my podcast as well. And, um, you know, I kind of talk about my headspace and how I feel. And I think it's super important that when we chase dreams, this is relevant to anything, not just reselling or business, but when we chase dreams, goals, and ambitions, these thoughts and challenges will come. You know, the struggles, the imposter syndrome, the doubts, and, you know, obviously the negative Nancy's as well. But I think for me, the way I cope with it is being open about it, chatting about it, and finding others you know, to chat about it with and support with. And, you know, I did catch up with John the reseller this week and I mean, we, we caught up for other reasons, but, you know, it was always great to get some fresh perspective from others. There's a few other folks that I do chat to as well. And that really means the world to me. But at the same time, I don't want to be here to sugarcoat it for you. When you're building something that you want, and again, not just talking about business, but if you're on a journey for whatever it is that you want, it's going to be rough and there's going to be some really lo big lows and there's going to be some really great highs. And I'm here to share that journey, however it looks. And I can't just hide that. Um, some things I'm able to hide uh, because, you know, I don't want to get into too much detail of it, but there's some things that I've been pretty expressive about. And the fact of the matter is I would not change this for the world, right? This is my business. This is my lifestyle and I'm building it to what I want it to be. I can't have that today. I have to build it into what it's to be. And that will take a bit of time, as, as I keep saying. Um, but the one thing I will call out is that there's no room for this nonsense from others who want to be backseat drivers for my business or my dreams or, you know, my goals. I, I understand that, you know, people might have issues with this. And this leads into lesson number three. People's issues with me, my business, my lifestyle, how I do things, what I do, what I like, what I don't like, my opinions, all those things. They're not actually my issues. I've really been trying to focus on this this week and, and tap into it because those problems that people that have with me because of the way I do something or it doesn't make sense to them or they would never do it themselves, well, that that's their issues. That's that's not my issue. I mean, I know people will voice that to me, but at the end of the day, I, I need to start learning to just not care about it because at the end of the day, well, they're not going to do this. 
I'm doing it. Therefore, I get to reap the rewards or don't. Therefore, I have to be responsible for that and accountable to that. But at the same time, I can understand why other people may lack faith in when we see other people's journeys or dreams and goals. Like if I'm watching someone else's dreams and goals and I think, how are they doing this? This is hard work. This doesn't make sense. Or it's, you know, it's easy to nitpick from behind the scenes. It's easy to nitpick from sitting behind a screen as well. But also we don't see their vision. We don't see their goals. We, we can't, we, it's not our dream. So when you have your own dream and you drive that dream, it's very easy to see the vision that you're taking. It's very easy to see the road you want to take. It's very easy to see the steps you need to take. Um, but I can understand why others can't see that because it's not theirs. They've got their own. They've got their own ideas, ideologies, understandings, perspectives, which is great. I mean, you do you, right? Um, so if you do have issues with how I do things, oh, I'm happy to have a chat about it. But when you start to become a little bit um, rude and personal or you know, saying, you know, I shouldn't do that. I think that's where it gets a little bit, who are you to say? Like, you don't get to make that decision for me. I mean, if you're working for me, we would have sit down and have a chat and see what we can do to make this business fruitful for all of us. But, you know, you don't get a part of that. And not to say that people's opinions can't give me some great value. I've, I've learned a lot from other people calling out things. Like this week I had Drew call out. It's like, why don't you change this with, you know, how much space you use and it's really got me thinking of how I can change it up. So I'm not saying that other people's ideas are wrong. What I'm saying is, is like, for those that are doubting me, for those that are saying it's just not worth it, it's just not worth it for them. And that's okay because you can do what you want to do and I get to do what I want to do. Um, the reality is there's going to be a whole bunch of different obstacles that come through every day in life, right? And that's mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever. And I've got, I've got all these myself and I work to solve them and I continue to build through them into the business and the direction that I want it to be. And at the end of the day, the only way I'm going to know where I land, how I land, what it looks like is see where we are in one year, see where we are in two years, see where we are in five years, see where we are in 10 years. And I'm tracking this journey. So if you want to come along for the ride, please come along for the ride. We, we're, we're about to finish year four and it's been worth every single second. Now, if you stuck around this long, I do want to dive into some of the financials for the week. Now, at the time of me actually filming this, it is only 9.30 in the morning on Sunday. So this comes out the day after. So some of the, the numbers will be a little bit skewed because, you know, I haven't finished the day yet, but I'll, I'll walk you through it. So in terms of the week, the week's actually been pretty good. We had some big sales. It's been a long weekend here. At the moment at 9.30 Sunday, uh, we're sitting on, this is week 194. We're sitting on 141 sales, uh, we've sold $6,188 worth, ASP sitting around $43. Um, that's just high level. And obviously this isn't, you know, net profits, net profits. I talk about from a monthly perspective. So we'll jump into that. This month's been interesting. We've actually had high, high expenses this month, purely because last month we had, um, quite a lot of postage costs and I pay on a monthly basis. So the cost of last month's postage lands this month, which is why we have a higher ratio of expense. Uh, it all evens out in the end. But at the moment, we've basically done about 568 sales for the entirety of the month, which is not bad. It's not as good as last month, but it's better than the month before. Um, in terms of um, look revenue, we're sitting around 24,300. We should get to over 25,000. Uh, profit at the moment, net profit, we're sitting on about $3,726. That's 15%. I think this should get to 400, uh, 4,000 plus. Uh, there is a few other expenses and stuff that I need to add into this. Just go through and do reconciliation. Uh, but yeah, we should we should land over 4,000. So we should get to that 15 to 18%. So not as high as the last couple of months, but I think evening out, it's it's actually not too bad. So I'm, I'm still pretty happy and confident with this altogether. Uh, next week, we move into getting into the international order, order. maybe a little bit. Um, I've got to make some space. I've got to go through all the consignment work I'm doing for um, the guy that I've got the mixed lot of stuff for. Um, lots of things happening, but I will have my worker back. So the idea is just to get as much done photoed. Still taking Carla into the city in the morning. So I will have early starts as well. So really just got to embrace that opportunity to see what we can do to grow the business. And I was reflecting on where we are a year ago this week and I'm actually up 80%. It's just incredible to see the growth that you can take and get when you, you know, put the effort in. And of course, those numbers are all revenue basis. 
Um, but at the end of the day, I'm trying to build that revenue generating machine so that it can cover all the expenses and all the costs of the things that it takes to actually generate that revenue. And then what's left over, hopefully in the long run, will be some higher profits as we continue to grow. Uh, this is what it's like building a business. It's never going to be easy stuff from day one. Of course, if I didn't have overheads, it would be beautiful, but I'd be doing a lot more work as well. So <laughs> uh, that's the reality of it. Appreciate being here. If you did have any questions, chuck them down below. Otherwise, you have a wonderful day. Cheers.